Hey guys, it's Grace. Welcome back to my channel. So today is Wednesday, November 16th, I think it is. And that means that it's only like a week and a half till opening night of the Nutcracker. And this Saturday is when like everything starts picking up. We have rehearsal Saturday and Sunday at the studio and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at the theater. Um, so I need to start packing all my Nutcracker show gear up. And I want to take you guys along as like a little pack with me kind of vlog for Nutcracker. So I've done a little bit already today. I'm gonna to show you where the progress is at. And then I probably won't be doing any more till tomorrow, but I just wanna check in and let you guys know where we're at right now. So I have like a whole list here of all the stuff I need for Nutcracker. I feel pretty professional. It's very like organized and pretty list. I love making lists. I'm definitely a list maker. So that was actually really fun to just make the list. But this is all the stuff that I have in my bedroom right now. So I'm gonna come up here to give you a good view, but this is all the stuff I have in my bedroom right now. And this is all stuff I'm gonna have to pack up for the Nutcracker, mostly. There's some things in here that I'm gonna have to take out, but this is pretty much everything I'm gonna need for the Nutcracker. So tomorrow I'm gonna like organize it, uh, put it in bins for transporting it, and get it all ready so that I can take it when it's time to go to the theater. Okay guys, it is the next day, which means it's time to pack up all my Nutcracker stuff. Honestly, I can't believe that it's like Nutcracker time because like it doesn't feel that late in the year. Like Nutcracker means it's almost Christmas. How is that possible? I don't know, but I am excited. I'm literally so excited. You guys have no idea. Um, but I'm going to start organizing and packing and I will kind of show you guys as I pack what it is that I'm all bringing. Now, I have you guys all set up and this is the laundry basket that I'm going to be bringing for all my Nutcracker stuff. Um, I kind of just have everything thrown in it right now. I got to take it all out and organize it. Um, but that's how I carry everything into like the theater and stuff. So we're going to refer to my list. So I think the first thing I'm going to pack is like my leotards, tights, shoes kind of thing, which is basically going to be like what I'm wearing for the show. So I'm going to use this little pink like cloth container to put all my like shoes and tights and leotards in. I'm bringing two pairs of pink tights because I'm wearing pink tights throughout the whole show. And in case one of them rips, I need a backup. Actually, I'm going to bring three packs. This is an unopened one. I'm going to put that on the bottom. And then these two open ones, I'm going to just kind of lay on the side like that. And that's actually all I need for like tights because I don't wear any other colored tights during this show. And then this, it doesn't have the straps on right now, but this is like my like tan flesh colored leotard. And this is what, at least for my studio, this is what we wear under all our costumes so that we can do like quick changes and stuff and not like have to go to a dressing room or whatever. We can just kind of do it wherever it needs to be done backstage or whatever. And I do have a couple backstage changes in this show. So I'm gonna bring that. That is an essential. For other costuming things, I'm also gonna need to bring these white gloves because for soldiers in our Nutcracker, we need to wear white gloves. So, these are my soldier's gloves. And then for shoes, I'm actually just bringing this one pair of ballet shoes because ballet shoes really don't wear through that fast. Like they usually last at least a year or so. So I only need one pair for this show. Okay, now I'm gonna pack some of my more like clothes clothes that I'm gonna be wearing over stuff to like keep me warm. So I have my dance warm up boots. These are like amazing for point because my feet are always cold. I think I have bad circulation or something. But these warm your feet up so nicely and you need warm feet to be able to do point. So those are definitely coming along. And then I'm also bringing this pair of my leg warmers so that I can throw it on at like intermission or whatever just to keep my muscles warm when I'm not actually on stage. I'm also bringing some just like little athletic shorts for wearing in the theater like between shows. And then I'm bringing my black sweatpants that I wear to like, for like over my dance classes because they're nice and loose and they're easy to just like take on and off as you need to. And then my brand new Nutcracker sweatshirt. This thing is literally like my new favorite sweatshirt. It's super fuzzy inside. I pack like my point shoes and stuff. So I actually saved like my point shoe boxes for my last several pairs of shoes. And that's what I'm gonna like store my point shoes in. Um, these, these are my newest pair. So I have three pairs of point shoes for the Nutcracker. I know that sounds crazy. These are my newest ones. I have not actually like danced to them yet. I've just been like breaking them in 
And these are the ones I'm probably gonna wear for like the actual show. And these are like my oldest pair that I'm currently using. Um, they're getting a little soft on the bottom and I'm just using them for like at home practicing, not for like the rehearsals, but just like on my own practicing and strengthening. Um, and then they will kind of be like a backup, like just in case something were to happen to all my other pairs, which I doubt, but you gotta be prepared. And then there's this pair of point shoes. I know they probably all look the same to you guys. This is like my middle pair. These are the ones I'm currently using for rehearsals and I plan to use them for all the rehearsals up until the show and then I'll reevaluate and see if I need to switch to my new ones or if I can keep using these. So these are the spacers. I use for my point shoes. They're just like little like wobbly jelly kind of spacers. It goes between your big toe and your next like biggest toe, like the second toe. Um, and it just like helps space out your toes evenly. And then these are the topaz I'm currently using. I do double them. I use like a gel tip, but also a lambswool one, but I like to double them because I like to feel like I'm dancing in a cloud and I don't like it when it hurts really bad when I do point. And doing it like this helps it hurt the least. So it's kind of important. I honestly don't know when these are from, but I'm gonna bring these two. I do wanna have lots of extras for nutcrackers. So I think I'm gonna grab even one more unopened pack besides these. And then um, I have two extra spacers in here. So I'm gonna kind of tuck those down here and put my current spacers by my current toe pads. And then I have a bunch of lamb's wool that I like to tuck in my shoes. So I'm gonna stick that in there too. Actually, I'm just gonna go my play a bag of lamb's wool. Lamb's wool helps a lot when you do point because the heels of your shoes, at least for me, really rub on my heels and I get really bad blisters. But if you put lamb's wool in there, it doesn't make blisters and it doesn't hurt as bad. So this is gonna be like my point shoe like toe care kit. Um, I'm also going to put in this bag of cotton balls and liquid band-aid, which is a lifesaver if you do point. Like, it also helps with those blisters on the heels. Um, and then I'm going to put some band-aids in here too. I don't have any right now, but I'm going to put some in there. In another one of my point shoe boxes, I'm going to focus on more like general things I'm going to need. So I'm going to pack some deodorant because you're going to sweat a lot during the nutcracker and you don't want to smell really bad. And I'm also bringing this Arnica gel, which if you don't know what Arnica is, it's like a natural pain relief. Um, it's made from all like natural, different, I don't know, like herbs and stuff. Um, and it just helps with like muscle, muscle pain or soreness or like any injuries or bruises or anything. So I'm going to bring in some hand sanitizer, a pack of tissues, one of the biggest essentials for any dancer in the Nutcracker. It's safe I have this makeup kit, like show makeup kit that I got for when I did the Anastasia musical this summer. And it has foundation, contour, highlighting, blush, and setting powder in this. So that's like most of my stuff. And then I have lipstick. We all have to have the same. And I have my black eyeliner. I have my eyelash glue and my fake eyelashes because you have to wear fake eyelashes. And then the only other things that I'm going to be getting from my regular everyday makeup kit are chapstick, makeup brushes, and mascara. And also my eyebrow pencil. So those are the only things that I'm going to need for my like everyday makeup kit. But everything else is in here. And then I have regular bobby pins and big bobby pins, which I've never really used these except when I need like a wig, which I won't for the Nutcracker, but I'm going to bring them anyway. I also have this pack of bobby pins that I'm going to put with my safety pins as like my emergency pack in case it's like a backstage thing. I have my hairspray, a comb for fixing any flyaways. I do need to get another hairspray before the Nutcracker because this one is like, I can't totally see because like the thing on it, but it's like less than half full. It like only goes to here. That's not going to work. So you need a lot of hairspray for the Nutcracker because your hair is to look perfect the whole time. So we will have to run and get more of that. And I also want to get another mascara just because I'm probably going to be going through more of it with the Nutcracker and mine's getting a little bit low too. That is all my hair and makeup stuff right in here. I feel like there should be more, but there's like not. Like that's my list. On my list, I don't know if you can see it, but I wrote bobby pins times one million because sometimes that's what it feels like. So I'm also bringing this, which is like a folding like shelf because I have a costume like clothes rack that we can like push. It's like a mobile clothes rack and I'm going to hang this on here. And when we get to the theater, I'm going to put all my shoes and tights and when I get like my hair pieces for the costumes in here. 
so that I can just grab them as I need. I think I have everything packed that I can do for now. This is what it looks like. So nice and organized and clean. Hey guys, so I just got back from dance and it's our last rehearsal at the studio, so it's Sunday. And I have all my costumes here, so I want to do a little try on to show you all because there's something I'm bringing to Nutcracker. And that will be like the last segment of this video. And after this, I'm gonna be switching to like my show week vlog. So, here we go. Okay guys, so this is my mother's costume. I don't know how you can see it, but it's a really pretty like flowy skirt and it is light pink and it's super pretty and it looks good with like some of the turns we do. This is my hair piece hanging here. It's not just like a random thing on the dress, but I'm not putting it on you right now. So I'm gonna leave it pinned to the costume. And then we'll also be wearing like a shawl at the beginning and then take it off when we get to the party. Next would be my soldier's costume, but I'm not gonna put that on and show you guys right now cause it's just kind of a lot of pieces and I just don't really feel like it. Um, but it's just a white long sleeve leotard, white pants, and then a red like soldier vest to go over it. And then a hat and a sword, which I don't have here. This is my snow costume. It's just like a knee length tutu. And then it has this really pretty like sparkly bodice. And then it has this beautiful hair piece that I am not putting in right now. But yeah, this is what we wear for snow. All right, you guys, this one's the big one. This is my sugar plum fairy costume. It's a tutu, I like it. It's Christmasy, and then I have this pretty tiara to wear. Um, this is actually the third version of the Sugar Plum Fairy costume that we're using because the first one was like way too big. The second one was like short, like because my torso was too long for it, but it fit me otherwise. And then this one's like perfect. So this is the one I'm gonna be wearing. Here's my final costume. This is my Waltz of the Flowers costume. I'm green this year. I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. Um, and then this is the hair piece that I'm going to end up putting in. I don't have it in right now, obviously, but then you tie these strings under your bun. So it's super cute. And I do have a really quick change from sugar plum to this. And then I have to put sugar plum back on again, but it's pretty. I'm excited. All right, guys. So this is actually the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting to see what I put in my nutcracker bag this year. And as I said, I'm going to be switching over as of tomorrow to my Nutcracker show week vlog for so look for that to be posted in about two weeks or so but yeah thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video